Welcome to the Encourage Podcast. We are all different ages and different life stages, and we come from different cultures and churches, but our common thread is the hope of Jesus. Here's some of that hope to get you through today. Today's devotion is written by me, Anna E. Rendell, and it's titled, Your Mess Doesn't Tell the Whole Story. You know the book, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, where one single event sets off a whole chain of events in the life of a little mouse and the boy who gave him the cookie? I feel that book on a soul level. The other evening, I slipped out the front door to water my plants. I have just a few flower pots on the front stoop and two hanging baskets of begonias. We've had a lot of rainy days lately, so I haven't needed to water much, but this week held a stretch of dry days. So I got my watering can and headed out into the dusky light. While watering, I noticed the cobwebs stuck in the eave over my front door. I saw that the recent migration of cottonwood fluff had taken over the corners behind the antique milk can for my grandpa-in-law's farm, the red wing croc, and both lanterns that flank the front door. Looking down at the front step decor brought my gaze to the sidewalk that leads us home, which is cracked and in need of a power wash. Thinking about power washing the sidewalk reminded me of the weird splotches that appeared on the garage door, and I wondered if they could be power washed off or would have to be painted over. Painting the garage door made me think of how badly our house needs a paint refresh, but really, our siding just needs replaced. Decades of harsh Minnesota winters, blazing summers, spring hailstorms, and just general living have worn down those original boards and it's beyond time for repair. I sigh, knowing that's just the outside of our home, just a snapshot of the billion unfinished tasks that catch me in the wee hours when I'm awake, thinking of the endless to-dos and wishing I was asleep. I'm the mouse, but with a gross cookie, like one made with salt in place of sugar, and instead of crumbs... I'm leaving behind a trail of tasks that never ends. I'm not only thinking about the tasks and the fixes and the repairs. I'm thinking about what it looks like to gaze at them from the street or front lawn. Woodpecker holes and a driveway that needs resurfacing. And I wonder if people think we don't care. I wonder if it looks like we don't miss the framed artwork that was never hung up again after we took them down for the holidays. I wonder if it looks intentional, as if we enjoy the peeling paint on the platform underneath the waiting-to-be-replaced air conditioner. I wonder if guests perceive our lived-in style, read toys, sometimes dishes, always laundry lurking, as preferred. I know that's how things look from the outside. And I know that the surface layer doesn't tell the whole story. It's always what's on the inside that counts. But I still want the cobwebs swept and holes patched and laundry done because I don't want my mess to be the whole story. Then a few of my favorite stories from scripture float across my mind. And I think of two women with messy lives who lived long, long ago and the encounters they had with Jesus that changed everything. Just then, a woman who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years, came up behind him and touched the edge of his cloak. She said to herself, If I only touch his cloak, I will be healed. Jesus turned and saw her. Take heart, daughter, he said. Your faith has healed you. And the woman was healed at that moment. Matthew 9, 20-22 NIV Jesus, tired from the long walk, sat wearily beside the well about noontime. Soon, a Samaritan woman came to draw water, and Jesus said to her, Please give me a drink. He was alone at the time because his disciples had gone into the village to buy some food. The woman was surprised, for Jews refused to have anything to do with Samaritans. She said to Jesus, You are a Jew and I am a Samaritan woman. Why are you asking me for a drink? Jesus replied, If you only knew the gift God has for you and who you are speaking to, you would ask me and I would give you living water. John 4, 
5 through 30 NLT. Those women were not perceived well by anyone looking in off the street. Pushed aside by friends and family, right into the margins with their mess. Their circumstances are open to a side-eye glance from anyone walking by. Their lives were, quite probably, not what they'd intended to cultivate. And yet, Jesus made it a point to meet them, to begin conversation and offer healing of all kinds. He knew what they'd cultivated in their hearts, even if it didn't match their outward appearance and situations. He knew their mess didn't tell their whole story. I love those stories because they show exactly who Jesus is. He's the one to stretch out a hand, the one to meet us exactly where and as we are, the one who goes first with empathy and care and kindness, the one who makes us feel so confidently loved that we can shed our fears and boldly proclaim that love. I'm not even sure how to wrap this up. I certainly don't have a neat bow or anything of the like. But I do know that after watering my flowers, I also swept the cobwebs out of the corners. I walked down the driveway, collected the mail, and turned around to see the glowy lights of the garage highlighting my little house. I knew that waiting inside was my family. The dishes left sink side from a favorite dinner and books waiting to be read before bedtime. Music was playing and laughter was pouring out of the playroom a culture we've cultivated and given thanks for, hard at work. Things we've done on purpose, despite the mess that it may appear to be from the sidewalk. And I smiled, knowing God sees the real us, no matter the mess of our home, hair, health, or circumstances. To read more from our writers, visit encourage.me. Subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss a single episode and find us everywhere on social at Encourage. In our book, 100 Days of Strength in Any Struggle, you'll discover where strength really comes from. Jesus, who holds everything together. Learn to find Him right in the middle of it, ready to strengthen you, and give you rest. Order your copy today at encourage.me slash podcast. The Encourage podcast is brought to you by Dayspring. For over 50 years, Dayspring has created quality cards, books, and gifts that help you live your faith. Find out more at dayspring.com.